Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Dishonored. We are playing the Distillery District. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's, Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalist Martin is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Okay, we can, we can try our best for sure. Uh, there is an optional thing here as well uh, to ensure Captain Kurnow survives his visit to the office of the High Overseer and Granny Rags. What the shit? Um, oh, I guess I can mark these. Okay, let's talk to Granny Rags in her apartment first. I'm gonna take that. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Okay. Okay, there's a ruin there, so that's cool. Guards are throwing stuff off. Bone charm up there. Interesting. I wonder if I could take this guy out without. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. Oh fuck! I thought they saw me. Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. Come on. <laughs> you're down, bro. You are down. One, and you're gonna two, go... Three, heave. ...into the water. Never to be found again. Nobody's even gonna miss you, unfortunately. So we did locate a bone charm over there. I'm gonna get to. Oh shit, who's this? Do I have to worry about somebody like this? Oh, nasty rat. Get away. I'm killing her. Well, knocking her out, you know what I mean. <laughs> Attention, Dunwall citizen. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Okay. Good to know. Liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Okay, so Granny Rags is over there. That's cool. I'm gonna try to make my way up and get this bone charm first. Good. Keep them coming. I don't see guys back there. Oh look, there's me, Corvo, pimp. One, two. Three, he. Interesting. What? How did he spot me there? One, I don't. Two, three. I don't know he. what to do. Hey. Oh, I see. Shit. Guy back there spotted me. It's time to put him down with a sleep dart. One, two, sleep. Panic. He's here. Help. Help. Shit. Oh. Oh, cool. Equip the heart. Well, I know that it's back there. The question is, how do I get into that area? Can I slide under? Not quite. Okay. Your mana is low. Hold LB, drink a potion. Okay, I'm down. Oh, that blink is pretty wild. There we go. We're now on the other side. Oh, Darren and Gwen, that's cute. 
Bone charm. Let's get the pouch. Death in the month of songs. It's a nice little poem. I'm not going to read this one, but uh, any story ones I'll, I'll read a little bit more in depth. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate the three bone charms at once in the bone charm section of the journal. Alright, so... Spiritual pool, you regenerate mana slightly faster. Yeah, let's, let's activate. I see no harm in that at all. This is like... Oh, crap. <laughs> It's pretty easy, actually, to get the hang of, uh... Of the blinking, because... I don't know, it's just really intuitive. They've done a really cool job with it. Look at all these dead bodies, hey? Talk about stealth. Not. There's the other guy there. We gotta get around that wall of light. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. Granny, we'll Granny, Granny, you come out with me. Ta what the shit? Where'd she go? She's all fucking magic and shit. <laughs> Granny Rags, come on. What's up? I told you the knives go on the left. She's talking herself. She's it's absolutely nutty. You never listen. Dear? Look at me when you do- oh fuck. Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. You can say that Have again. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I guess. Deal with Granny's Gentleman Callers. Also, Piero's Remedy is, has a poster here. I'm starting to think maybe Piero's Remedy is actually... Yes, I would, indeed. Just the mana regeneration instead of the... What I thought it was in the first place. Okay, I'm gonna go around and see I if I can sneak on those guys. Oh, what? Boom! Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. <laughs> what will you do, I wonder? Okay, well now I'm going to have some cool stuff because I saved that power from before. So bend time. Slows time for short duration. I like that. Oh, possession. That is... I'm so close to it. Um, bloodthirsty. Build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Nah, that doesn't really fit with my style. Agility. Jump height is... Increase in falling damage. That's good. Shadow kill. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. I don't really kill a lot either. Maybe bend time. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Slows time. If 
Press LT to slow the world around you or until you press LT again to end the power. At level 2, time is completely stopped. Enemy security systems are unaware. Um, hmm. I wonder if this has anything to do with blink. I don't think so. I'm going to do bend time. There we go. Oh, look at that. Cost eight ruins for another one. That's pretty intense. There's another ruin. There's another bone charm. Yes, I would. Long ago, Granny Rags danced at a court. Men begged to marry her. That's the heart talking. Careful. She treads with purpose. And it is not as frail as she I think the little birdies are children sometimes circle Granny Rex, following along and taunting. She has given herself fully to the outside. Oh, okay. Long ago, Granny Rags yes, danced at a court. Men begged to marry her. I told you the knives. Okay, so way the over there. I don't have to worry about it that much. On the left. You never listen. Gentlemen callers. I'm gonna handle these guys somehow. Okay, now this is where I'm going to try the slowdown maneuver here. Um, let's do that. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash. Can I take care of all these guys while I'm in slow mo here? Cool. Come on. Hit me. Oh, he got me good, actually. Decapitated. You're welcome, Granny. They've been handled. <laughs> I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Oh yeah, herpes? Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Alright. Ruin or bone charm nearby. Equip the heart. The little birdies are sad today. Okay, cool. So because I did that, then another uh, thing shows up. You rats, you just F right off. Nice. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these bottle street children, ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Yep, down. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present <laughs> just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. 
so precious. Hmm. Yeah, so she's totally nuts. Powers, yeah, I know. I'm gonna save that though. Um, tasks, optional. Okay, break into Dr. Clavin's flat on Claverlink Boulevard. Let's see where it is, roughly. Oh, okay, pretty close. I have to get past the wall of light anyway, so let me go around this way. See what's up. Don't mind if I do. I'll eat shit out of the garbage. I have no shame here. None. Yeah, spiritual remedy. Okay, that's what he's talking about. It is mana. Ooh. I'm gonna stay on Bottle Street. I don't want to go in there quite yet. Interesting. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach into your pockets and let's get this done. I wonder how the spring razor works. Let's just try it. And you'll have your throat cut. Stay away. Oh, these guys cross the line and have your throat cut. What's going on there? Okay, let's blink our way up here, see what's going on. See if I can't get inside from up here. I don't even know what I'm going in there for, really. But I just want to, because there's that guy in there, you know? Get past the first wall of light. Okay. Done. I'll try to get into Dr. Galvani's offices here. As long as you're above them, they don't seem to notice me. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, let's go in. Dr. Govani's offices, let's do it! Okay, so... Breaking to Galvani's flat. Well, I'm in. Search for a sample of the infected rat viscera. I can do that. Ravis are up there, okay. How do I get in there? Damn it, that's a tease. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can just break shit. Didn't know that. He's gonna be like, where the hell are the pictures of my guns? Gone, bro. This thing looks something I could play with. Combination required. I'm gonna have to find a code. Probably on him, I guess. Anybody in here? Nope. This is this is pretty pretty wild. I feel like even though I'm, this isn't an, even an action sequence, like, it's still intense. Like, they do a good job of Wait, making you feel like did things you touch are tough. The door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Uh -oh. Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? <laughs> I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. 
The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Hire's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. <laughs> of course. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <laughs> That's funny. You know, 50% of marriages do end in divorce. Oh, crap. You best be going upstairs, Pally Wally. <sighs> Shit, okay. I gotta make my way upstairs. Now, I wanna try out my dark vision here. Let's get that going. Okay, so, oh, cool. Shit, she's coming. What? Oh, fuck. I need help. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That was not my intention. The hell over there. Okay, I got the key to the lab at least. This is just where I came from, not too worried about that. Oh, this is looking like somebody's room here. Stealing everything, I have no shame. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic, aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I'll be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian red. Most important day of Galvani's life is 28-7, the 28th day of the seventh month. Hmm. I wonder what that's gonna mean. Any ideas? Are they still looking for me? They are still looking for me. We know you're here. Dies. Oh shit. Help me find him. Keep oh, running. I'll find you. Huck oh shit! This is trouble. Disaster! Total disaster. Massive chaos. Not smooth at all. Shit! Well, I may as well just leave all your bodies here because why not? I think I might know what this password is now. Uh, what was the thing here? Mission clues, 287, 2807, maybe. 20th day of the seventh month. But how? Oh, let's try 287. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Oh, those are worth some big bucks, too. My chaos probably through the frickin' roof right now. That's okay. Oh, it shows you rats and everything. I don't see anybody up here. That's a good sign. And I got that from the guard, so that's nice. That worked out. He's got some weird... Shit going on here. What do we got a secret? Yeah, there we go. Secret wall. Very nice. Rat behavior. Used to be you'd go out with a bag, a stick, with a nail in the end, and catch as, as many rats as you could in the night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I 
Mostly worked alone and we got by. If you found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we hire a crew of street rats to work with us. The younger ones didn't make much trouble. Didn't who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sounds that made it's the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous and the city watch started paying better. But that didn't last long because after a while too many people had been stripped clean trying to fill up a bag. One slip and they'd be all over you gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone and that's how I lost my poor Benji. Oh, That's kind of sad. Obviously the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? In size and the coarseness of its fur. And I believe in intelligence. Ew. Although the experiments there are not complete, Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Oh yeah, definitely something weird. Well, for over this is about the rat plague. So for over a year, I've studied the cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands, given their rapid gestation and. Maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slums exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered the city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I'll continue my research, and if nothing else, I'm living proof that so Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague, if one consumes enough of the stuff. Alright. Here we go, we got the rat viscera. Clues updated, okay. Contaminating the Bottle Street Gang's elixir st still with plague rat viscera will infect anyone who drinks the elixir with the plague. That includes the Bottle Street Gang and the people who buy their black market elixirs. Okay. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain or you know what. And it's like, and it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years and I never seen one of them come below except to measure will it hold when, except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years have been the worst and here's why, it's the river crests. Moved in, moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up and we all climb up fast, no other choice. Yeah, well, that's trippy. Okay, so now I guess I'll go return to the uh, crazy lady. Considering everyone's pretty much dead here. Oh, I see another, oh yeah, more people. They didn't find the other dead bodies, I guess. Okay. Blinky blink. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna just go through this place and find if there's anything else in here that I can use. Uh-oh. Shit, is he gonna walk in here? Yep. <coughs> this could be trouble. Why is his eyes on fire? Oh, shit. There we go. Stupid goddamn... Devil son of a... Marlon Garland... That's his name. It's nice that you can actually use that for quite a while, avoiding the rat plague.
Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crust will protect against contraction of the disease, nor is it true that crushed morley orchids act as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of the ingredients are used in both Sokolov's Elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Okay, so you, after you have it, no luck. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it also considered hearsay by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Okay. Shit. Yeah, it's nice. I'll find you, you hagfish. <laughs> I know you're somewhere around here. Come here. Run, little rat. Shit. <laughs> Who's there? Uh oh. Oh yeah, eat it. <laughs> I've officially killed pretty much everyone in here. And, uh... <laughs> you know, it's not my intention, it's just... When I'm in panic mode, it has to happen. Oh, didn't really want to do that. Galvani pantry key needed. Ooh, fuck. I don't know if I want to be going in there anyways. But I guess what I could have done is, uh... At one point, I probably could have let those rats out to kill all these guys. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the old lady and uh, let her know how awesome I am. Oh shit! That is that was not good. Oh shit! There we go. Here we go. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Where is she? I've got your rat thing that you wanted. Maybe I have to... Oh, I have to do this first and then take it back to her. Interesting. Well time block puts your enemy off balance. Yep, good to know. Entering hostile zone. Yeah, I get that vibe. I'm not seeing uh, where that mission is actually though. Contaminate the Bottle Street Gang's bootleg elixir with the plague. If I turn that off, what happens? Oh, it must be all in the same place. Okay, cool. And this is in there too. Get past the second wall of light. I mean, we've kind of already done that. So I'm actually going to end the episode here. In the next episode, uh, we'll get into the uh, whiskey distillery and we'll fuck some shit up. How about that? Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you have any tips or anything that you'd like to see me try, let me know and I'll definitely do it. So uh, take care, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh shit! This is trouble. Disaster! Total disaster! Massive chaos. Not smooth at all.